Okay, so I'm actually inside my car here because I wanted to have a good uh, uh, clear view of the screen and it's a little less noisy. So I'm going to see how well this works. And obviously I'm inside a, a metal object so I might not have as much range. It's a really bright day so I want to uh, you know, uh, be able to see the screen. It's really hard to see the screen when you're um, outside in, in bright sunny conditions. And let's just do a, the selfie mode right off the bat here. Let's see how far it goes. Got a nice wide open area here. And there it goes. I'm going to keep a uh, line, visual line of sight. I'm not going to go too far. But we're in a nice wide open area. The video signal is very strong here because there's no uh, trees or anything else interfering with my signal and I've got clear line of sight. It is breaking up a little bit now. You can still see the drone. I'm 150 meters away. And it looks like uh, selfie mode just keeps on going. Uh, looks like it goes to about 160 meters maximum. And I think that's when it stops. And I think I just have to press the stick here and yeah, it stops. So I can still see it at 160 meters away. But the signal is breaking up a little bit. Yeah, this is an analog uh, FPV here. So I'm just going to go up. We're also going to see how long the flight time is. I'm going to run the battery all the way down. And one of the things that I wish they had on this uh, drone was uh, some kind of tripod mode where you could you could do these like pans and yaws very, very slowly, even slower than, I'm trying to do it as slow as possible here, but it's still pretty fast. And it looks like my video signal is two out of four bars or two out of three bars. Let's go a little bit further out. So I'm at uh, 100 and, uh, almost 180 meters out now, 190 meters out. Video is still very solid, a little bit fuzzy, 200 meters out. And I can still see it, a little white dot over there. All of my signals are still very strong. I think that when I bring, uh, when I when I yaw the drone around to me, facing me, or my location, I think the antennas are in the back because it is a little bit more fuzzy uh, when the drone's facing me. So I'm going to bring it back here and I'm going to bring it lower. And we're going to try some interesting shots here. Bring it down a little bit more. So I'm going to try one of these shots where I'm going sideways and raising up. So I'm still at 11 and a half volts, 18 satellites. So the drone is facing sideways now. I'm getting these like kind of wavy lines in the analog video, a little bit more breakup. And now that it's facing me again, uh, definitely more video breakup. 
And I think that whenever I take video, when a bright sunny day here and I'm, I'm facing into the sunlight, does ever, the ground turns pretty dark. So the wide dynamic range of this camera is, uh, could be better. Definitely could be better. Gonna head over to the street over here. A pretty good speed. It's not the fastest I've seen, but not bad at all. All right, so I'm gonna bring it over this way and drop the gimbal all the way down. Let's see here. So I'm off to the side of me here. And yeah, right at the entrance of the road, I think. Yeah, it's nice that you can take the gimbal all the way down. So you can have one of these little nice little cinematic shots moving forward like this. And then we can slowly raise up the or pan up the gimbal, or tilt up the gimbal, pan or tilt. I wish it could go slower. It's just, it just seems a bit too, too fast. And you can see there I am. And then you can see the freeway over there. Let's see how the uh, video turns out. I think I got a little bit too low there. Yeah, when you get lower to the ground, you get more video breakup. So uh, probably, unless you're really close to the drone, probably not a good idea to do that. All right, so I'm going to try another one of these. I'm going to do a manual droney. I'm going to pull back and go up. Eleven point one volts still. No, no battery warnings or anything from the transmitter. So, and about nine minutes of flight time. So I'm gonna record this entire flight. And about almost three hundred meters away. Getting a fair amount of breakup now. All right, let's just try a little pan around here. This is about the slowest I can get the drone to pan around a yaw around. Like I said, I really wish there was a tripod mode or something like that. Maybe they'll do that for a future firmware update. So 10 minutes of flight at 11.1 volts. It's about half the battery, I think. It could probably go a little lower. I'm just kind of wondering at what point there uh, it's going to complain and then ask for the drone to come back or send the drone back. I don't know if it actually will send it back or just land. So I'm going to probably start bringing it closer so that it doesn't land in the middle of nowhere. I mean, the video is just really smooth. This, the, I'm very impressed with the gimbal. Yeah, I know it's a bit windy outside now, right now as well. Mm. 
All right, so let's bring it back here. I'm gonna go backwards. So I'm at 11 volts. And I've hit the geofence limit. I'm at about 120 meters. These are all, these are the one, uh, the default settings I, that were set from the factory. I didn't change any of those. So I'm going to keep it closer because I think the flight time is is not so not as long as advertised i think that the last flight i had uh it didn't quite last i didn't drain it all the way but yeah getting quite a bit of video break up here So I'm at 11 volts and about 12 and a half minutes of flight time. Okay, so I got a disconnection. So it looks like it's going to do a return to home here. And I have a low battery warning as well. And do I have any control? Doesn't look like I have any control. It's just doing it automatically. I see what happened. I was flying above me and I think my car uh, roof got in the way of my connection. It's probably why the video was bad. Okay, let's see where it's going to land. <sighs> Getting out of my car. And yeah, it's right over where it took off. But 10.9 volts. And about... 14 minutes of flight time, so definitely nowhere near 22 minutes. And it's just gonna, I think it's just gonna auto land by itself. So it did come home when I got disconnected. And shutting off the motor. So yeah, a little disappointed on the flight time. And the video stopped. Wish it were a little bit longer. The voltage did come back up to about 11.1 .1 volts. I could possibly uh, fly a little longer, but uh, would you really want to? I mean, we could just land anywhere random. Um, well, maybe this battery needs some more cycles, possibly. So we'll have to see.